Okay, well, the last time that we spoke, we talked about the uh, circlet that uh, rests on the head and on attainment that, that uh, each person ultimately will attain to at some point in, in their life along the path of the faithless discipline. Uh, service to Jehovah, the Almighty, all pure. And um, speaking of the circlet, we spoke of it in terms of the jack or the nave, which we can also think of as being you know, an apprentice. Uh, royalty, or that is to say, looking over the in, in, entirety of the heart kingdom, because we're talking about the jack of hearts being the uh, the season from June uh, solstice until the uh, September equinox. And so there's 13 weeks in there and there's 13 stages or steps or conditions that uh, man goes through in experiencing the hearts for that season. And uh, so the 11th week, which was a reflection of the foundation, uh, which is what the uh, apprentice does. Well, in this season it has to do with the hearts, and in the next season will have to do with the spades, and then the next season the diamond, and the next season the club. And then we're at the end of the year, and we start again, and we get to re-experience them all, and work with them all, hopefully on a higher level, but if we haven't learned certain lessons, we'll go through those lessons again. And that's just the way the creation is. Jehovah I made a life that way, and for the resurrection of all. And so the, uh, the knave, or the uh, apprentice, so to speak, now his, his responsibilities, now we say it's a he, no, it was taught, okay, so you have a jack, the queen, and the king, uh, those three representatives of the, uh, well, the, the, those who have uh, essentially working with the entire domain of hearts, the, the ones in the hearts. The, the, so the, uh, and what the apprentice does is he's more like a line officer in, in, many, in many instances because he's learning about uh, basically he's trying to keep the ship afloat trying to keep the the, the circlet whole the circle whole and everything and, and trying to uh, um, uh, make sure that everything goes you know, smoothly and and uh, learning how things run on that level because the level of the circlet which is uh, as mentioned in our previous uh, talk was about um, moving forward in in dealing with with the entirety and it it's and so it's it's an a it's an active type of a, of a of an attainment and it is a soul attainment in the sense that 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 is grounded in your roosh is grounded in your soul and so you have to develop in the soul in order to, in order to get the, the serpent. But the what comes after, which is the, the which is what is what is dealt with the following week, which is the in the case of hearts of, the, of this season, it would be the, the queen of hearts, and um, she deals. Now I mentioned that that the the circlet. Okay, there's a rise from the circlet. And that rise from the circlet is the tiara. That's the beginnings of the tiara. And there's many different, it's like there's an infinite number of uh, circlets. There's also an infinite number of tiaras. But they, but they have certain rudimentary, uh, fundamental uh, forms, shall we say, that, that, they initial, that people initially progress through. And, um, and it's really not much different from any organization where you learn the, uh, you know, you learn the ropes. It's sort of like an, an using a nautical term, and and you learn the different positions, uh, and that's that's essentially what the uh, the jack or the knave does. Uh, 
is they, they learn all these these uh, positions and keep things going and and um, and it's a very active type of a, of a situation but but really what it is is holding together the the rouche of everything um, in in a certain aspect of it and not in its entirety because that's uh, only Jehovah can do that but but we can uh, grow to, to gain more and more in in in, uh, in our learnings as we go well anyway um, in as much as the 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 knave or the apprentice uh, or the prince if you want to call him a prince or princes uh, they they go forward and and they uh, do the work that's required of that level and one of the things now we mentioned this in the last talk is that there's a connection with Jehovah's kingdom now and we also spoke about the inner temple and we'll do a talk at some other point on the inner temple what that is and um, and what that entails and, and and all that but for now suffice it that the inner temple starts off we start off with the soul with the rush and 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 developing in that but and you develop and and when you develop upward now you develop the first sort of a, a attainment of of sort of officer standing i guess we, we would say but it has to do with with um, it has to do with with being in tune, as we mentioned, with Jehovah's kingdom. But this is more than just um, you know saying, "Wow, I'm in tune with you." With you. But it, but it, but it, but it's a mental sort of a mental attunement uh, compared to like when you start off in the inner temple. It's it's with the rush, with the soul. And you sense it, you feel it, and and you you go with it, and you try to get that light in the heart, or you want your light in the heart, and all that stuff. And so you go forward in the inner temple, then and, and looking for that light, to get that light of S, that light of spirit that you want inside you, because you want to be that person of light. Ultimately, at some point in, in time in your life, you will. And you'll want to become a person of light. And this is what the inner temple deals with, how to become like an inner person of light. And how to sustain that. We call it the inner temple because it's inward. It's, it doesn't have anything to do with what's going on out here in corporea, other than we have to deal with what's going on out here in corporea. But we deal with it through, we learn how to deal with it through the soul so that we experience uh, corporea through the soul, experience things that are happening out there in the physical world. We experience them from our soul, not from an animal perspective. Yes, we can still perceive it from the, from a, 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 a corporeal level. We don't lose that. This is this is like um, interior to that, an enhancement. It's it's a whole it's like a whole different level of comprehension and understanding and perceiving which has to do with the spirit and the soul. And so uh, a person anyway, when they start off in the inner temple, they, that's what they're going for. They're going for this light and everything. Uh, when you have attained to the circlet, ultimately, because there's a lot of steps and a lot of plateaus and a lot of degrees in the inner temple that a person progresses toward step by step up to the light and so forth and in plateaus and, and understandings and comprehensions and ways of perceiving and uh, when you have reached uh, a level where you've gained a circlet you've attained to a circlet it means that that you can hold the light the light at that level that that you're dealing with all the way around not just a little part of it here and there but all the way around the entire the entirety of it at least on that level and to some extent and a sufficient extent, I guess we'll, we'll put it that way. And this, this, um, what this, this, this upper attunement is more of a, whereas uh, more of an attunement with Jehovah's kingdom per se, it's more of a, of a, of a communion, shall we say, or a mental union, a mental understanding of 
being at one with Jehovah's kingdom. Whereas earlier with the soul and here, we were uh, one in our sentiments, so to speak, with, with, with the Jehovah's kingdom, with the Father's kingdom. And we would move and all that, but we didn't necessarily understand it all mentally, you know, we didn't feel like necessarily that we were, oh, I'm one with Jehovah's kingdom now or not. Oh, we may get flashes of that, uh, fleeting comprehensions of that and, and the sensibilities of that from time to time. And that's what we, the angels give that to us so that we work toward that because we, we're the ones who have to do the work. They're not going to do it for us. No one can progress you in the inner temple. Only you can do that. No one else can do it. Only you. And, um, well, people can help, you know, of course, by uh, illuminating certain things like we talked about before, the hall lights, you know, lighting those up and you go, oh, yeah, 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 and all that. But a person still has to do the work themselves. Well, anyway, so at this level, the level of the circlet and the, later the tiara and later the crown, all that has to do with Jehovah's kingdom and being in tune essentially with the shim light of Jehovah's Kingdom. Now, when you get the circlet, the circlet has to, it basically deals with the rouge, the soul light. And you're able to keep the soul light in a situation all the way around and everything. That's, the, that's an attainment of the circlet. Uh, generally speaking, you gain more than one. Um, there may be a minimum number of circlets that a person has to gain before, and and these uh, these circlets, though, even though you have gain, can gain more than one, and you can gain many, but they're still only seen as one circlet. You see, they're, it's just like just like you can have many crowns, you know, and that all the different crowns are different, but they're still crowns. The same way with the circlet, but it only looks it still looks like one circlet. That's that's all it looks like, and. Um, but these, but these give cause, give rise to uh, a perception, sort of, a, and, and this is what I'm thinking, but like maybe the minimum number is three, but I'm not 100% sure, or maybe it's four or five, I, I, that, because I, I never really thought about the minimum number before, uh, but, I, but I think that they're, they're, it's possible that, they're, that, the, that the requirement is that you, uh, need more than one, but in any event, um, whereas the, the the circlet dealt essentially and basically with the rouge, with the tiara, the tiara now is dealing with the vaslite. Okay, it's still with the rouge, but it's now in the vaslite. The, the person is now dealing also with the vaslite, and. Um, that's the rise, the rise from it, the rise that, that comes up from, from the tiara, dealing with, um, and it's a feminine, it's a feminine thing. Because whereas the, the circlet, the, the, the nave is a nay, a, no, a going forth, um, you know, the line officer and keeping, you know, doing this and doing that and all that, and whereas the, 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 the queen, so to speak, or the tiara, deals with the uh, the nurturance the nurturance of all because she is she is she deals not only not only with with the things of her with the vast light but also with the rush light through through the uh, through the nave and and um, or, or the naves actually through all the different uh, circlets and so uh, in a sense, she is the queen over those, and that's why it's the next rank up. But it's also, but it also uh, is more of a of a of a uh, an allowing. You allow things to grow. Uh, you allow things to develop, to blossom, to bloom into their fullness. Um, and whereas in the in the past with the circlets, you're, you're rushing around trying to. Uh, fill in the gaps, fill in the holes, uh, make sure that everything is, is, is right or to find that way forward so that all is right and all that. But with the queen, now the queen is more abstracted from that, is, is, is somewhat removed from it. She can see more of these things and that she labors to allow, the, uh, to, to help them to full, unfold 
in those fullnesses, so to speak. Well, in, in a sense, it's, it's, it's like the uh, integration of all, of all, of all, all of everything beneath, but in a way that where she's not, she doesn't go and, and necessarily supply per se, but provides the means for the uh, for things to fulfill, and uh, that comes during the twelfth week. That's that's the the. And another thing with this is twelve. You see, in the tablet of Samoyed is the number of man, and so there's a, a connection with with this receptivity and the s of man, uh, meaning the feminine aspect of a, of because you have corpora being the sun and S being the, the feminine. And um, and so she is uh, more the uh, someone who, who when they when the waves get choppy the uh, the knaves are out there, you know, trying to get all the lifeboats, you know, secured or whatever, or, or making sure they're not going to sink and all that stuff. But she's the one who can, who can like calm the sea, so to speak, with, with the with the tiara. And so it's it's more atmospherics in in a sense, you might say, which also deals with atmosphere and the spirit. And so uh, her thing is more like with the uh, with that aspect of it, of, of life and of living. And and then the following week, which is going to be where the crown comes in. Now the crown, now that's uh, not, now that goes to masculine again. Now that the crown, the crown is uh, has all those things that were that are underneath, which is the tiara. And the uh, and the the circles basically built from circlets, as as we mentioned in our previous um, talk. And so it it a crown requires experience for one thing, and it's uh, but it but it but the crown deals with the shem light, and it deals with the Jehovah's kingdom. It deals with dominion and domain, and it. Um, it has a connection with all the other crowns. And we're talking about true crowns here. We're not talking about, you know, a crown that all somebody made and put it on somebody's head like the false gods do. And uh, and even some of the early gods of, of the earth and our heavens here, we, we can read about in a waspy how they got crowned. But the crowns themselves didn't have true power until at some point when they had attained to that level, and then they got crowns of true power. Uh, in other words, they had crowns that were connected w through the ethi and the shem light. And um, now these can't be faked by atmospherians, uh, because atmospherians can't. Uh, those who are of self and 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 of the beast, um, they can't. Um, they can't manifest shame light because shame light comes from etheria and it comes from the the kingdoms above above atmospheria and it's a connection with them. This is truly more in the way in in the realms of mind, um, and but a oneness of, of, of mind in many ways. And it's it, but, but the uh, and the crown itself. You could, it can be risen. You, there can be a rise from the crown itself, and so you see, we see representation, the artist representation of a crown, and it'll have a rise or it'll have rises, you know, peaks and all that. And and these have to do with certain uh, things dealing with soul and mind and spirit, and and what needs to be developed in a planet on a planet with the mortals, and uh, and in their heavens. And so when a, when a god gets crowned, like the god of this planet, a crown that they receive is suited to this realm of, of heaven and earth for this, the local 
our local heavens and earth, our atmosphere, and the incorporea here as it travels through Ethereum space, uh, that crown is specially suited for the time and and the condition of the person who's going to get crowned with it. So it's it's it sort of links it all together as as one. But it's more than that. Every Danhe cycle, that crown gets sealed in the earth, and because the crown is is what's going supposed to be accomplished during a Danhe cycle, and at the start. It's like you take it's like taking the crown and turning it upside down and boom, putting it down in the earth and it gets grounded in the earth, it gets rooted, it gets anchored in the earth. And that's called the seal. And that seal, that seal, when people go forward, mortals go forward, they follow the conditions, the inspiration, the the ethi of that seal. And and the reason that, that people do this is because it acts like uh, like a magnet does to iron, but it's very, very subtle, so people aren't really normally aware of it at all. But as people go forward and 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 they fulfill the conditions of that of that crown through the seal, and by the end of the Dan Hay cycle, that seal is complete within the earth. And so when we read, like for example, in a waspi where. Uh, something is is being established in greater surety on the earth sealed in greater surety or, or made into greater surety that has to do with the seal certain things thir certain crowns come at certain times uh, this, that's my understanding of it certain crowns come at certain times uh, to all the different planets depending upon their progression and all that and a lot can be read just from uh, knowing a person's crown, the crown that they're wearing, where they're from, you know, what their talents are, their limitations, their uh, th what they're bringing to the table. Essentially, it's it's like a like a resume with an unspoken resume. I mean, people know how can read it and understand and know these things. We're a long ways from from that, but we have the capacity to reach that at some point in 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 our journey upward into the light will attain to that. Now it may be generations, it might be uh, a couple generations before you get many people that can do much of that. But it's possible for mortals here, depending upon um, how they are in the faith of discipline and, and how uh, they've progressed in it and how pure and clean that they are and, and the good works that they do and so forth and and it has to do with their seed their forebears and all that and there's a lot of factors that are taken into consideration but anyway the point being that as we move toward this uh, conditions get better for everyone and that's just the way it is when people move toward Jehovah's kingdom that's an improvement of conditions in and of itself, just that moving toward Jehovah and his kingdoms. Well, anyway, so that's uh, when we talk about the tiara now then, because because the tiara and the circlet itself, they're all contained within that seal, you see. And so the, the circlet, you can pretty well understand that. That's like a foundation or the uh, things that are going on right here, right now, and all that. But the, the queen of the Tehara, you see, whereas up here, it shows a mastery arise, uh, under here, it shows the descent, the descent into self, the descent into blackness, the descent into density, the descent, but now remember what we said in our uh, the high talk about darkness. Dark, darkness is not evil per se. Evil can hide in darkness, but it's but it's not a bad thing. And you can see that uh, uh, that video that we have posted up, and it explains it more than I'm going to right now. So, but anyway, um, so what what the queen does then, you see, is she allows for you know, how much depth is that going to go down? Where's the limit there for that? As far as as far as that, and, and but but that's a direct response to to the rise that she has attained up here, because 
she can only go drop down here to the extent that she can rise up here because she has to be able to sustain this and to be able to provide for their upliftment from, from the seal down here. And so uh, it's work, it's labor, <laughs> that's what it is. And the, uh, I sort of want to give a, a, an explanation here that, to help this out, which has to do with uh, when you think of a light, a bright light way up here, you know, a bright light coming down, and then you stand right here and the light shines through and you have a shadow that strikes the screen or the wall or whatever. And with regard to the screen or wall, it's what we talked about in our Dahai tape again, of what self is and, and Satan and everything. And that's, that becomes like a limit. And, and the queen acts as sort of like this, from the light to there to there. But, but the point we're making here is that the brighter the light up here, up at the top, the brighter the light that comes down, okay, the blacker the shadow here. Well, the brighter the light coming here, for the queen, the queen has to sustain that light, okay? And the more, the, the brighter the light that she can sustain, the greater the rise and all that, which means the greater the depth and everything. And, the, and not, not just depth, but also spread. Uh, uh, depth and spread kind of thing so it doesn't have to necessarily be just just the uh, just the uh, the descent or the ascent but also there can there's breadth involved or there can be breadth involved just depending upon what a person has within them that they're developing as far as their tiara goes but as but as the same in, in the case of the tiara as it is in, with the circlet is that uh, there are certain rudimentary things that, that come first, and the rise is one of the first things. But anyway, so that's essentially dealing now then with this depth and, and uh, here on, on corporea when we speak of, of the tiara, and, and that's a lot of times what you see out there as far as labor that has to be done as far as the, the those who wear the tiara is concerned and they but they have to also sustain that light so uh, and that's that has to do with the domain and dominion and all that but it's still all that is still under the the crown itself which is you know the next the next higher step up so that's uh, basically it in a very short uh, version thank you blessings